Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And yesterday we went to the Sarasota Goodwill Bins. We did, and but before we venture into our little story about the Goodwill Bins, why don't we start this evening's festivities with our visitor that we had who is quite enamored with you. And by the way, oh. why wouldn't he be? I mean, oh, our aren't Jason. we all folks? Come on. <laughs> okay, yes, so go Jason ahead. stopped by with one of the neighbor's dogs he was walking. And Jason is? Jason is our seven-year-old neighbor who we just love. He's so <laughs> cute. Yes, and he loves you just right back. That's so nice. <laughs> okay, so when we got to the Goodwill bins, there were no carts. So Bear had to search yes. around for a little bit to yes. find a cart. And while he was doing that, a woman approached me and knew who we were. And she introduced herself and we spoke for a while and giggled and had a good time. And her name is April. Our new friend April came up and recognized us both. She's really cool. Yeah, it was very, very, and just slightly very, embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's very, I, I'm on the very cool side, more than the embarrassing <laughs> side. <laughs> but that's just me. So uh, we have a picture, we'll put that in, and she was lovely. Thank you so much for making that a good experience for we, us, April. We, all, we cleared it with her to bring her picture in, so we did ask her that. Yeah, we did. So. <laughs> you were so smart to do that, because she took a picture of us, and I was just so, like, flustered from somebody recognizing us, honestly. I know I believe it a little bit about our backstory. She knows my mom and she knew my mom was coming to uh, vacation for a couple weeks. So we were talking, talking. And then she's like, can I get a photo? And I was like, oh, we should have asked first. But so I'm glad you went after her and got that photo. Yes. Okay. All right. We spent, I think like 40 to $60. I'm sure there was a receipt in here and we did really well. Wouldn't you say? Well, again, I, I never know too much, okay. you know, except what you tell me. But, I mean, there yeah. are a few things like, oh, for sure I know to pick this certain thing up. You yeah. Know, you, you'll definitely want this. But past that, it's it's kind of a crap shoot for me <laughs> a little bit. I mean, some vintage stuff I know too. But Yeah, yeah and I'll be inserting footage. It's kind of discreet footage because they don't like you to film at our particular bins in Sarasota to just get an idea of what it looks like while we're talking and we only came out with one full cart and then you only had some things maybe a half cart maybe a quarter cart to return to me yeah yes so we didn't come out with like three or four carts like sometimes we do but i feel like what we got will sell oh uh, i just i want to play yeah. up to the thing you said about a cart and a half yeah our our standard procedure is after we come together yeah. with our carts we separate and we like try to put all the stuff off the side so we have one cart to just throw in that eventually I would just take back. So that's yeah, because we try to look at most things at this point. Yes. Some things I just know and I get excited about and this was one of them. Have you ever heard of Jay Peterman? Well, that's the guy from, uh, is that the guy from Seinfeld? Yes, Elaine worked for Jay Peterman. So he's a real person. It's a real person. It's a real catalog. It's oh. such a cool catalog. If you ever get your hands on one, they they actually like do sketches of the models wearing the clothes instead of photographs. What was their rationale for that? I don't know. It's to look old timey. <laughs> okay. And then it's very whimsically written. Like you can carry this carpet bag to and from your carriage ride to grandmother's house. Nice done. Something. That's pretty good off the top of your head. Seriously, I like it. But this is heavy leather. It is distressed. It is marked up. But this thing will last forever. It's very cool. I mean, seriously, how many pounds is that? Maybe three pounds? Oh, yeah, it probably is. And the, the metal is very clunky metal. It looks like an old cowboy saddlebag used to. You know how they had to flip like that? I wouldn't be surprised if I got $50 from it at least. It's very, very cool. It's very cool. And so, Jay so Peterman. what do they, is this a, what do people of any gender use that for? A briefcase bag, maybe. Okay. I would say it would be most likely. Like a laptop type deal, maybe? Yeah, laptop, laptop bag, legal situations. Okay, cool. I don't know. Then you picked out this. You want to tell us about your big <laughs> find? Well, I, first of all, I had no idea it was a big find, so I just... Oh, it's just large. You're large. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> well, yes, it is that. Uh, so I just thought it was a peel and stick stuff for you know countertops and whatever backgrounds. So I just figured it was something that she may want. So I picked it up and she did. Yeah, and it had a target price originally thirty on clearance for twenty one dollars. So I think it's just a whole bunch of stars. You know, I didn't even notice that. Right. I didn't even notice the signal. <laughs> They're silver stars that you can put behind anything. Yeah, that's right. So like cool. if we wanted to add silver stars to this wall without wallpaper, you would just do them in a print. So yes. it's a giant roll. And because it retailed for $30, I'm going to guess we might be able to get ten fifteen. dollars Now, it, will you see the back? In other words, could you? would you just see the stars if you put that up? Or is it mounted with the white in the background? Simply peel and stick onto a smooth painted surface or a surface that's in good condition. I honestly don't know. Because, like, for example, my room is gray. Yes. So those are silver stars. Not that we're going to do this, but yeah. that, that would work if they were just clear. You know what I mean? Yes. Not clear, but if it's... I think... I think I'm wrong. I think it's not just silver stickers. I think right. the whole thing is like a wallpaper sticker. Yes, I understand, but sometimes like a sheet like this yes. will look like this, but it'll peel clear. Oh. Except for the except for the things. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't Yeah, know. but I don't think that's what that is, but yes. But that's the only way it would work in my room, for yeah. example. Without changing the color of the wall. Yeah. You passed this by. Oh Well, you know, you said that before and um but you said it was a Mickey Mouse thing. Yes. That's what caught my eye. It wouldn't have been the latch hook thing. I mean, I should have remembered because you did tell me the latch hook thing. Yeah, I'm not saying this is going to bring the same as the Mickey Mouse one, right. which sold immediately right. for like 35 ish I think, oh, plus I shipping. Um, but latch hook kits in general seem to do rather well. And for what we paid, I think all of the things are in there. I did go through it. I think it's worth it. I think we might get 20 bucks. Maybe. Not only that, but it brought up our first musical reference of the evening. Go for it. <laughs> can I, I, say can that. I Can I yeah. tell them that story? Yeah. My girl, instead of saying things like, if, this is an encouraging thing, she doesn't mean it in any kind of you know, bad way, but instead of saying, like, if you say, well, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to go put gas in the car, you know, instead of saying, oh, okay, thanks for telling me, let me know, most people, my girl says, go for it. Go like for it, it. Like it's some challenge or something, but she doesn't mean, you don't even mean it like no, a challenge. No, I've said it forever. It's like. just, yeah, it's just your way of responding to it instead of, oh, okay, or whatever, it's like, go for it. It always <laughs> makes me laugh, so it's like a challenge. Okay, so what am I going for now again? <laughs> you forgot what you were going to talk about. Oh, no, no, my first musical oh. reference, my first <laughs> musical reference, that's what I'm going for. My first musical reference is, uh, you said latch hook kit so, yes. so fast, so quickly one time, that it's not it remind you of Last Kiss. Oh. And Last Kiss is a, a song by, well, originally by J. Frank Wilson and the Cavaliers, uh, but it was also covered by Pearl Jam, and it's one of the songs that I sang at uh, Della Cortez, the Clam Factory Jam one night, and actually one lady the following week had come up to me and said, you know, when you hear oh, the other night, she you, wanted to hear it again. Well, I think, I don't even know if it was that so much as she was just grateful that I did because I think they're kind of getting to know that I bring different stuff all the time. Yeah. So. You are really being, what do I want to say? You're really having fun. Yes. And you're really being accepted into that group. Yes, yes. Right? That's very true. That's yes, yes. Very fun. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, we're not going through like one item. I know. <laughs> okay, so some clothing. They had a lot of clothing. This is like the second or third time in a row. Good amount of clothing. I think the bins have officially gotten better. Oh, really? Yes. You mean like what? What all exactly? You mean like the quality of stuff or quality the... of stuff, the cleanliness, the bathrooms oh. with oh. Um, the ease in which and the the quickness of which they bring out the carts. Oh, they're rotating. The new rotating. stuff. Okay, okay. They're doing much better. And what about the pricing? Even. The pricing I'm okay with. If you spend more than, I think it's like 20 pounds, you get 159. So basically everything is 159, which for heavy things is a shame, but for most things, it, it's pretty good. So what that lady was trying to do yesterday was- yes. 
Okay. We mailed up our cart to the um, cash register. Mary is her name. <laughs> this particular lady is Yeah, Mary. yeah, I know Mary. She is really nice. And she puts your cart on a scale, and the cart is on this giant scale, so you don't have to take anything out. Yeah, it's, you just push your cart on the scale. And we realized we, we weren't at the 20 or 25 pounds. So she was just like, she had pulled out stuff like this, because this might be a, a cheaper weight, but she was like, add that. Because if I hit that, it would have saved me 40 cents a pound. So it would have saved me $8. Step up. Yes. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay. So some clothes I'll go through. Um, we met April pretty much when we first got in. Yes. And then the cart, uh, the blue bin, or the blue bin after that, one or two after, had some pretty good things. And I can always tell they're Goodwill pulls. Now I'm not gonna be able to show you one. Um, oh, here we go. By the tags. This pink tag means our Goodwill has a boutique section where they price everything for ridiculous prices, and then it goes to the bins because it doesn't sell, which is great for us. Um, so this top, for instance, would have been $10. It's a Columbia size small, kind of a royal blue, feel this material. Do okay. you remember what it's called? Oh. <laughs> Swiss dot. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't remember ever hearing okay. I'm sure I have. We definitely heard it. Yeah, okay. but, it has Florida embroidered, so it's like the Gators colors. Oh sure, sure. And uh, now, okay, when you say it was ten dollars, that was the yes. five, that was the lowest price that Goodwill had. Goodwill, Adam? yes. After they reduced it and everything, ten dollars yeah. was still ten dollars was the cheapest oh, price. I don't really think that's realistic. Either. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. No idea. Okay. But we got it. I mean, it's not even a pound, so we probably got it for like seventy-five cents. But it's yeah. nice. It's nice condition. It should be, you know, like a five or ten dollar piece. But here's the thing we've said before, if you got it, say, for 75 cents there, yes. it should have been, like, at the most, maybe $4. Oh, for at sure. At the most. Yeah. I would say more like 2 or 3 but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of these I picked up, I'm going to sell right from this video. So if you see something you like, I'll put prices on the bottom of the screen. They will be cheaper than if I have to wash it, steam it, photograph it, measure it, edit photos, and list it on eBay. I won't have to pay eBay fees. So if you're thinking, wow, her prices are really low, I get that. I would rather ship it directly <laughs> from here to you. Well, I mean, you eliminated a lot of stuff there in your I little know. Your I little know. Things, Bear so. steamed the other day for hours for me, and it, it was so helpful. Um, and I took photos for hours, and it really crushed my body there for a little bit. So this is just much easier. This is Terra and Sky Zero X. So this is their Zero X as an equivalent to a 14W. <laughs> is this another company that does their own uh -huh. thing? A lot of them do. Really? Yeah. What color is this? It's like a pink. I'd say it's like a pink. But, okay, but do they say what they're equivalent to when they put this on? Yeah, this one does. A 14W. Okay. But I'm saying to all companies that no. have their funky size. No. Okay, right. So hold this up. Oh, okay, sure. The whole thing? Yep. Okay. Okay. No, not this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, not the whole thing. Hold it up, hold it up. Uh, okay. Well, it's, it's like a comedy act. <laughs> so, you can gather the waist in yes. and tie it. There's like drawstringness in the front. I'm pretty sure that's not a word, but yes. So, you can make the waist as big or as small as you want. But it's a button down polyester. I just liked it. I could see somebody wearing this even in the summertime in a office setting. Yes. Beautiful, right? It's nice, yes. Vintage America, extra, extra large, made in India. Now, when something says vintage, that, that sort of means it's really not vintage. Correct. Right? I mean, yes. okay. It's the opposite effect. Right. And they know that, but they're just saying we're, we're going for it's that It's in a look. vintage style. Yes. That's, that's what they're trying exactly. to say. Exactly. You got it. Right. So this is a cotton modal, and it has some blue crochet trim. So it's got a v-neck. A lot of people like v-neck. I like v-neck. <laughs> um, you know, I'll jump on the bandwagon and say that I like v-neck. <laughs> Not on me. Because it elongates the neck. So if you carry your weight in certain areas, you'd like your neck to be elong elongated. Oh, nice, yes. It's in beautiful condition, too. Yes, it's very nice. And it seems really well made. Like, they've seamed the, the arms, and they've smocked the wrists. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. 
Yeah, and there one thing I I know I should know, but you said it's cotton. Model. Mo model. I think model. Like well, whatever, but I'm just you know, I'm not asking for the pronunciation of it. That's another kind of cotton. Once again, we've had this. Kind of natural. Or how oh. how it was made. Yeah, probably. Okay, so find the tag on this item because this item was just sitting at the bottom of a bin. Okay. Is this something that you've already done on your own? Mm -hmm. okay, I good. know exactly where to look, though. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. All right. uh, thank goodness for editing. Oh, okay, good. Good, that, well, that'll work. Okay, let's let's start here like this then. Um, so this is the top? This is, this is, this is, the, is the top. This I is think. the top. Yeah. Okay, this is Cold. the top. Okay, so. Warmer. Warm. Hot. Hotter. Almost there. <laughs> Go down more. Hot. Smoking hot. You're right on top of it. <laughs> Go in the, pick, in the pocket. Oh, there's a pocket there? Oh, there's a park. Oh, okay, I get you. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> my goodness. That wasn't too tough even. I should have done it on my own. Uh, it's okay. Magic, Magic Scarf, Scarf Company. Company. Yes. So this is um, reversible. It's a size extra large 2X. So anytime you find something that is truly fully reversible, check the pocket because 99 times it'll be in the pocket. You mean it'll say that it's reversible? No, if you know something's reversible, <laughs> like this is clearly yes, reversible. Yes, it clearly is. Yes, absolutely. So the yes. only place to put the the tag the tag is in the pocket. Okay, but is this a well-known brand? This yeah, the Magic Scarf Company does a lot of this type of thing, yes. like this this bubble knit type of stuff. Yes, I, I mean I would be remiss if I didn't at least mention the Magic Boss as a musical reference. Oh, I know that cartoon. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not the song that I'm referring to, but it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next top. We do have things other than clothing. Aeropostale, or Aeropostale, yeah. size small. This was brand new with tags. It is a very sheer burgundy, kind of like a baby doll, cropped with some, I love the sleeves, like the bell tiered sleeves. Mm -hmm. Pretty, right? So you like just wear like a sports bra or something under that? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. You want to show this one? <laughs> sure. A denim long sleeve shirt, I would say, by Schmidt. Yeah, is it women's or men's, do you think? Uh, I think it would be a woman's. Fit for her, size medium. Okay. Brand new with tags. It's like a dark indigo denim. Mm -hmm. I just thought new with tags. There were quite a few things new with tags. I don't know why. Well, I hate to be packed with music references, but one of Shay, one of our friends Shay. Yes. You know Shay? Her, her. How pretty is the name Shay? Yeah, Shay Lynn. That was her name. Uh, is her name. <laughs> she hasn't departed us yet, Shay. We know. <laughs> uh, uh, her fav one of her favorite bands was the Indigo Girls. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of that band. Okay, you can do these two. Okay. These are thick cotton. A jeans by Horst? Is that jeans wear? I don't by know. Horst? I'm guessing it's some kind so, of Western wear. It's not necessarily the name you pick these up for. No. As much as just the coolness of them. They're they're true like almost bell bottoms. Yeah. And then they have. I I really think somebody would wear these horseback, showing or horseback riding or horse showing or something. They, really? they look Western kind of with this. Yes, they do, but. I don't, I don't think a real cowboy would actually wear a thing. Well, a cowgirl. No, I mean, a real cowgirl would probably oh. have something more really cowgirlish than just okay. a little bit beaten. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But again, these feel new. I, I can't advertise them as new, but they just, these are denim. <laughs> so make them tougher when you say it that way? Denim. Mm -hmm. I don't remember picking this up. Band of Gypsies. I have to look this up because there is a brand with the word Gypsies that's worth hundreds of dollars. And I do not think this is it. And I will reference a band of gold by Frida Payne while you're doing that. Hmm. You can keep talking. 
It doesn't look like Bands of Gypsies is the brand. So now I need to find the band. The brand, not band. Uh, so they're calling that the name of that. That's the, that's the the model number, for example. No, that's who makes it. That's a company name. Well, you just said it wasn't. It's not the one I was thinking of. Oh. There's a brand of clothing that has gypsy in the name and yes. it's worth money, but it's clearly not. It's not this one. This one. Okay. Spell and gypsy. That's what it is. S-P-E-L-L. -L. Spell and the gypsy go for hundreds or thousands of dollars. You mean for an item like this? Uh -huh. They're similar. Yeah. Okay. So this is a um, long sleeve smock waist romper. Oh, because. with shorts. <laughs> okay. Crossover neckline. Love that. Size large. What kind of material is that? It's like a cotton gauze, I would say. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Well, that sounds like something you put a bandage on with, but yes. <laughs> Viscose, but it definitely Viscose has. Viscose is what? A material. That's what they. Oh, that. Uh, well, you just shouted that word out. I didn't yeah. know what that meant. So yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so that's not cotton. Not so cotton. Viscose is a thing all its own. Yes. Don't ask me what it is. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not trying to be funny. You know that I'm genuinely asking. Okay. Mason jewels, a size small. I don't pick up all mason jewels, but this one I liked the black background. I loved the pale birds. They're like done in a pinky peach and coral. Yes, I think that's very nice. V neckline with a tie at the top. Mm -hmm. And then it has this extra fun ruffle yes. right at the waist. Yes. And tassels. And I mean, who doesn't love a fun ruffle right? after all? Elastic at the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Yes. Again, it might only bring $10, but I'll let you do this one. No, that was somebody new as well by the tag. I mean, that we've never heard of, you're saying? <laughs> no, well, no, 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 not that I, no, I'm just saying you knew that was a name. I did. It's name. not a great name, but okay. the print saves it. Okay. Okay, the task I've been given is to show this Nine West medium sweater. I'm not sure what, again, this material is. I can, I'm sure it says it somewhere. Does it say there? You're yeah. doing it. You're doing it, man. Well, okay. Pretend you're on QVC. <laughs> okay. This is an exclusive hand crochet garment. Slight variations from garment to garment are unavoidable. So it is <laughs> crochet, but is that the material? That's the way it's made, right? That's Correct. Not, it's not the material, the right? Correct. Okay, well. How much did it retail for? $99, reduced to $74.25. We don't know what. It's probably cotton. It probably says it on the right. inside. Well, that's right. It might, look. Machine washable. Mine doesn't say, so it has to be yours. So acrylic, acrylic cotton, cotton, polyester. Other. Other. Okay. Yeah, well. So it's really pretty. It is. It's very nice. Olive green and almost has like a little bit of a sparkle woven throughout it, right? Uh, I was, um, yeah, I do see a little bit of sparkle. On Purple, yeah. coral, white. It's very spring-like. I like the bottom, how it has like those cutouts, and then just one tie in the front. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, for ninety nine dollars, I mean, we paid probably like a buck fifty. Khaki pants. I usually don't pick up khaki pants, but these were Tommy Bahama size eight, and they looked really nice. Are those uh, female or are they gender? Female. Okay. Um, I liked the wide waistband. They're cotton spandex. Yes. They're a little bit cropped. I was gonna say they're a little short to be pants, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're a little bit cropped, okay. but honestly, they just had that polished cotton look. They look like they could be brand new. Yeah, they do. You want to do another one? <laughs> do another oh, one. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm not very good at this. You are. <laughs> Chico's Travelers. No, Chico's and Chico's Travelers, two different things, right? Nope. Same oh, company, same just company. different branches. Okay, the one's going to be acetate and spandex. Acetate. It's 95, 90, was it 99%, 99.95% acetate. Yeah. What is acetate? A very stretchy material. What size is it? Okay. Clearly nobody's in there with it as much as me. Uh, two. So their size goes from zero to four. There you go. <laughs> so the two is like a medium large. Okay. So it's stretchy. 
Very stretchy. Very stretchy and has, uh, these are not flared, but they're wide leg. They are wide leg. They're capris, I guess. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And Chico's pieces in general look like this. Okay. They're very stretchy. They're very packable. They'll never get a wrinkle. You could. Are they uh, big in New York? Mm, they're in, big all in, over. In the city. Honestly. Because, you know, like New York City, almost everybody dresses in black. Yes. You know, if, if office people. In yeah, there. no, I don't know where they're made or where their headquarters are. They're made okay. in Guatemala. But this kind of like, it'll fit if you gain 20 pounds or lose 20 pounds kind of thing. <laughs> if that's a goal of yours, like the gain or lose 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Goodwill had this marked for $7.99 at their boutique. You would call that a shawl, correct? It is a shawl. It's by Torrid. It's pretty long. It goes down yes. past my um, knees. And it has fringe. It is a pink and shades of blue floral. And there's a few ways you can wear this. Of course, just like this. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And then you could do like one of these and make it more like a cape. But then you can take the whole piece, since it's just really a big rectangle, and you can just turn it into a scarf. Well, you've done an excellent job of demonstrating all of that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I wouldn't know what you thought of. So, yeah, I loved the print. I loved, it's just one size. It's appears to me the main purpose of that is simply for decoration. Yeah, add a little bit of warmth, but mostly decoration. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's too small to be any kind of... Yeah, but could you imagine them. getting seven ninety nine at Goodwill for this? No, absolutely Goodwill. not. Goodwill. No. Okay, we're going to let you do this one. <laughs> and Oh, that's good. I see. I know this is a Columbia. Yay. And this one, too. We'll do both Another at Columbia. the same okay. time. Okay, I have a Columbia U.S. 2x? Mm -hmm. 2x? And I also have a Columbia US 2x. Okay, let's see what this is made out of. Oh, no, this is a different language. Well, it's I'm sure this is cotton. It's like a sheeting, cotton sheeting or something. It is. It is cotton spandex. Oh, it's spandex even? Yeah, a little bit of spandex. Wow, it must be very little. This doesn't feel like it. So these are the exact same tops in different colors. Okay, so these are females mostly then. Yes, 2x. Okay. These are females. Okay. And they have the long sleeves. Mm -hmm. Does yours roll up? Oh, uh, my sleeves? Yeah. Well, See what sure. I mean? Like, mine roll up. Oh, no, no. I don't think <laughs> I yours you, roll up. I thought you meant, is it possible to do I'm like, I'm pretty sure I could do that. <laughs> does yours have a button? No, it does not. I thought these were the exact same. How much did Goodwill want for this on the pink tag? I am, oh. <laughs> $9.99. Mine also. $9.99. So I will probably lot these up since they're the same size. Probably the same person wore them. But just a nice... I can't imagine you getting much more than that for the two I of them. I won't. For the two of them. Right? Yeah, well, from two of them, I might get $14.99, but... Still. I mean. Still. Goodwill. This is Talbot's size 10. That, is that, that's a store or that's just a, a, a store. catalog type deal? It's a store. Okay. Button, front, two chest pockets, yellow, black, and kind of a beige animal print. It's definitely a blouse. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the sleeves roll up. They have yes, the they have things little... that roll up. You can do this one. I don't even know what that is. Oh man, come on, that's not right. Give me something you don't know. Either. Oh, yes, we have a shirt here. Oh. It's J. Crew. J. Crew, it's a medium. Medium. And, and it's cotton and spandex. Yes. Same type of thing we already saw. Yep, and? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Heard about that. The original price. There is no original oh. price, but it does have the J. Crew tags on it. Oh, okay. It's like a pea soup color. Yes. Hold it's it up. not very attractive. I don't really? Think, I don't think so. I think some skin tones look good in this. I have an olive base for my skin tone, so I actually look okay in these weird color greens, but I look awful in yellow. You know, that's probably more, that's, yeah, you know, I take that back. It's, I'm sure it's my dislike of green. Oh, more yeah, so than something. Green. Okay, next brand. Jamie Sadak. Jamie Sadak. Sadak. Size small. Jamie has a very unique 
quality to her pieces and this one is the same. She's kind of like an outdoors, maybe golf aesthetic this for rich people. Golf. It's not really. Yeah, that's not golf, is what I'm saying. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But Goodwill wanted $5, nobody picked it up. It is worth probably, she does really well. This is a higher end. So this piece might have originally been like a hundred dollars. I might get fifteen. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I love this. K I S C H E size Kish medium. Kish I don't know. I feel it though. It's like that soft kind of cotton. Oh, it's so good. That I don't like. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's, heavy I like cotton it, but too. I wouldn't want to wear it. Rayon spandex. Mmm. That's not really cotton at all. That's not cotton at all. <laughs> this is just one of those pieces I would just want to live in forever. It's long. Love, love, love. Like, you get cold. Look at how the sleeves even. I love Ooh, sleeves that go past. That? Um, <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> I have so many of these kinds no. of things, so I probably won't keep it. Yeah. But I love it. Do you want to do some of your stuff? Let's let's jump into something other than clothing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a great place to start, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the decolleté pad. Decolleté. Decolleté pad. It prevents and minimizes chest wrinkles caused while you sleep by aging and sun damage. Yes. So for those of you who might have breasts and sleep on your side, one breast is always like on the other breast and you get a lot of wrinkles as you get older. Um, so this is a silicone grade gel. These are usually pretty pricey. See the before and after? So how the woman get yes, like. Mm -hmm, I do. It's just an unfortunate thing. I sleep on my stomach, so um, it's not as bad, but it's not good to sleep on your stomach either. So I, I didn't look these up. I know I have looked these up in the past. And they do fairly well. Okay, this is American Girl Fashion Show. Now this is a uh, like a doll type of deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to pull more? out? Yeah. Oh. Paper dolls. Oh, okay. So you make paper dolls to sit around the table. Nobody's gonna be able to see this. You have to look. This up. <laughs> Sorry, right? <laughs> yes. So there's a little stage. I'll ask my sister mm -hmm. if. Uh, my niece is still into American Girl. She's with her mom right now um, for a few weeks in the summer, and then I'll continue to send her packages. So, but this is brand new, and honestly, if I look this up and this is like forty dollars, sorry, Tima. <laughs> That's right. We're uh, trying to make a living here. Yeah. Good American Girl stuff. Always look up. Okay. You found a lot of this. I did find this as uh, a flex foam. Curlers, I guess call curler, curler, curler rods is, is specifically. Yeah. But yeah, look, I mean, they're basically brand new. Yeah, so. compare it $10. And this is an OMG LOL. What is this a balloon? Balloon. So you'd have to get, get this blown up. Not necessarily. You can blow it up with the included straw and then just tape it to the background. Oh, okay. Okay. It just looked cute. I bet you we'd draw a big crowd if we did an entire interview with Healy. Healy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to do that. But <laughs> this is a dry cleaning pad. It erases dirt like magic. It looks like a potato. Is this like a pre-magic eraser? I have no idea. It does look vintage. Does it say Yeah, what? it does. There's no... Um... Yeah, erases dirt like magic. Doesn't it look like she's holding a potato? Yeah, yeah, well, can you open it up and see what's in it? Not if I'm planning on selling it. No, I don't mean, I mean just the C, not to open up it. Sure, it's heavy. There you go. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a little bag. Yeah, okay. It's like a squishy bag of, Yeah. I don't know. Engineers used to have a bag like this that had like white pellets in it make dry work so it wouldn't make marks when you draw when you're drawing. Huh, like, interesting. Yeah. Okay, All well, right. good find. This one? Ooh. Magic sliders. Which, We've been looking for these. Yes, because we currently have, in the couch behind us, we currently have how many points? In other words, we have eight Four. Or Four. 
four. We have 12 we have points of contact. 12 points of contact, and we currently only have eight. Eight. So now if we use these, this should take care of it. Yeah, so when we redo our board, it takes a good many hours and a little bit of work, and we decided last time it was easier to move the couch oh, yeah, out of the way. And well, I mean, we don't do the board all the time, but a couple right. times a year we decide to, maybe even three or four times a year. So Bear wants it to put the couch on these sliders. So this we, should do it. We have found them to work in other areas, so yes. we'll see if they work with the couch. So we'll see. Yep. Go back to your clothes or keep going. keep going? Okay. You've got the fun stuff. <laughs> Oh, well. oh. I don't know if I can find all of these in here. That's Apparently. okay. I think there's only. Uh, whoa, those are very, what are the 60-ish? Uh, 80s maybe? I don't know. No, I, think I can't they're, they're see out of them. That. But they are cool. <laughs> Let me see you. Whoa, all oh, these are prescription glasses. Oh yeah, can you see anything? Well, I mean, it's super like... blurry, yeah. Do they have a maker? They felt heavy. They do have a maker. BG Fatima, and then there's some numbers on Fatima, it. that's a Fatima's name. Yeah. So we'll have to see. These, I don't know say what. Those I think, I think they're, they're bifocals down at the bottom. I think it is. This is the display sample, so I'm gonna guess there's <laughs> not actual glass in them. Well, I don't know, when you look down at the bottom, if you put them on, look down at the bottom. Oh, Got a, a decal. Oh, yeah. So, okay. yeah, but still, the top is normal, and then we look in the bottom, in the bottom through the bottom of the lens. It looks completely normal. Too. Well, you see that little line in them, though. Do I? No, I don't. Maybe not. Maybe that was just that plastic was messing. Yeah, up. I think it's just the plastic, and they need to be. But the rest of the frames look like they're in really good shape. But the, it seems like they're just glasses, right? Like, like they don't have any kind of. They don't. They're just. Model. Yeah. So somebody will right need to put them in. Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. We are currently sending out about six to eight care packages from Patreon. Thank you so much. That makes my heart happy, not only to know you're supporting us, but that I get to put many, many care packages together. So now Bear's thing is living for Tuesday nights when he gets to sing with like <laughs> professional musicians. And my thing is putting together like the best possible box for you. So I thought this, um, this is wood shavings. Okay. So it's actual pieces of oh, yeah, wood, sure. mm -hmm. um, which would be better than sending up plastic. So if I need something cradled because it's delicate or fragile, then this was usually $2.99, but I probably paid 20 cents. And for those who may not know, is there some easy way they can find out about Patreon because we kind of just... It's made. always in the description below. Okay, good. This is next. You can do it next. Okay. This is the 24 karat golden rose. 24 karat rose. And apparently, I mean, it's, it's a real deal. I mean, you know what I mean? It's a I'm, rose dipped in 24 karat gold. Yeah, that's for real. It's not... A, it looks like so fake. Yeah. Oh, but there's this authenticity. And it has this little heart holder as it's well. It's like a paper. Let's okay. see what how much um let's see how much we can get on and you on not YouTube. And how much did it really bigger than the Yeah, I can look for that too. Okay. Golden rose, is that what it's called? Uh yes, twenty four karat golden rose. So it looks like they're selling for about five dollars. <laughs> okay. Um, from China. So let's uh, see what they are. I'm going to say $10. I don't know how somebody can take a rose and put it in nicer packaging and do all of this for $10, but whatever. Plus, like, isn't the rose itself rather costly? You know, to buy, they're, you have, plus they're like perfect roses. You know, yeah, I wonder if it's even a real rose. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. That's what I was getting at. Okay, so... It looks like they go from $20, like this is our exact one, it's $20. Okay. Right? It does look strikingly similar. Purple box. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ours has a little heart stand though, theirs doesn't, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, Come on. it's like plastic. Who, but, wants, who wants a gold rose without a heart stand? <laughs> Come on. But yeah, I just thought it was cool. Whether we gift this to somebody we or- We have a certificate of authenticity. I know, 
It's not signed by anybody, though. Oh, no, it's authentic. It says on it. I know. Authentic. Budgelet. Golden Rose Budgelet. I wonder if that's the kind of rose it is, then. All right. It was new. Okay. Are we sticking with this? Sure, stick with it. L oh my, let the good times roll. The cars. Okay, that's a cars reference. It's a little photo frame. It's brand new. It'll probably be put in a box. It's cute. Yes. Amazingly, Cars is one of the bands that I never saw live. Really? Yeah. Hmm. These but, are two different things. Oh, okay. That's a this is a lobster belt tie. I don't know. It feels like it has like weird pebbles in it. Yeah, it does. It's, uh, I'm sure that's used for some kind of weight for it, right? A weight for it? For the belt itself. So it's not just cloth. Really? That's one of my only guess. Why else would there be something in it? I'm just guessing why there would be something in it. I was wondering if it was a hair accessory, maybe. Could be that as well. Uh -huh. would, that make, <laughs> that's fine. would that make more sense than... I don't think it would, but I'll tie a package with it or something. Okay. A lay. Okay. I thought... I thought the colors looked similar and I wanted it. Okay. <laughs> My goal is to reason to get it. Ladybug beads. Oh, they're not even beads. They're just wooden ladybugs. Hmm. I don't know. Adorable. Why would you get this? This is a leather... This is Toomey. Clothing tag. Or a leather Lunch tag. tag. Toomey uh, okay. is a is very it? pricey... Oh, Luggage. somebody from Maryland. Um, yeah, so let me just look up really quickly. Okay, sure. And then I can edit out. All right. Chewy luggage tag. I'm gonna guess we could probably get like ten dollars for it. Mm, okay, that's pretty amazing, seriously. Yeah. But I mean, if it was any other luggage tag, I mean, that's something really wacky, I guess, like a, a coach or something. I guess. Yeah. But basically, looks like you know. Here's one very similar, 38, 38, 30. Good job, darling. Seriously, that's amazing. I don't know if they'll actually go for that. Let's see what they yeah, sold Yeah, but I mean, it's amazing. For. You knew, how do you even this know that? This is 24. This is our exact one. Okay, how did you know about too many luggage? Uh, oh, it's just pricey luggage. Oh. I know about pricey everything. I, I, I okay, mean, okay, you, all right. You yeah. asked me what the most expensive car is. I'm gonna have a general idea or clothing or. Okay, what what is the most expensive car? I mean, like the the most expensive. I well, don't that's know. what you just said. But like, uh, I was just using your I don't words. know. Uh, I I would know about things like Range Rover, which isn't more expensive than like Ferraris and yeah, okay. Lamborghinis. Right. That's fine. I was trying to pick on spot. I just know what you meant. Rolls Royce and, and the uh, Bentleys and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bear found some fun little packaging. I only got two of the bags. These originally were three dollars a piece. <laughs> you could go to the Dollar Tree and get them so much cheaper. Okay. I have no idea what this is. This is a camera lens. Oh, that's right. You did show me that. I sold my last camera lens for twenty-seven plus shipping. Um, almost immediately. So I have no idea if this one will do as well. But it's Canon, which was the other one was a Canon. I'm guessing it's 35 millimeter as well. Yeah, I don't know. It says it says all the things on it, which makes it easy to list. And it has a little bag. Hmm. Apparently, these are some sort of relatively expensive glass add-ons, or are these the ones that I picked up? These are the ones you picked up. Okay. They are easy clip, easy twist, Takumi magnetic eyewear. Yeah. So if somebody's just looking for this part, good. Well, right? no, that's to go over your glasses. Yeah, but, but it's it's made to go over specific glasses, not just anybody's glasses. Oh, okay. All right. Like, well, not those ones. But like, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah it's for specific glasses. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's just finish your bag. Your bag's more fun than my bag. All right. Here we go. You picked up this purse. I did. It was being sold at an animal rescue, so somebody handcrafted this for $15. But you can just tell the sewing is... I mean, it's good, but it's not, like, professional. I thought it was really cool. The colors and the strips, even the beads feel like Pandora beads. And then on the inside... I know Pandora beads are a type of jewelry. Yes. 
They did it in like a different color fabric with a fun pull. Just yeah. the whole bag is pretty Good. well thought out. It is. And it's a hobo style bag. So hobo styles were popular in the early 2000s, but they are coming back into style. And it's it's a good size bag. Like, my giant water would fit in this bag. You do know eventually the hobos are going to be like, you can't use that word. <laughs> They're going to be offended by Copywriting. So I thought for, you know, a buck or so, this was, this is pretty cute. Yes, I agree. Another bag. This is the almost exact match bag I always wear. I only own one bag. It's a Vera Bradley black convertible bag. This one is made by Travelon. Okay. Have you heard about Travelon no, bags? No, I haven't. So Travelon bags are made to not really be um, stealable. That was terrible grammar. So they have like things, go ahead. Have you heard about Travelon? I've not heard about travel on. The only thing I've heard from you is that they're somewhat of a theft deterrent somehow. Yes. And so how so? I'm not exactly sure how so. Is it because you, it's across your whole body and not just on, you know, whole Maybe. Body? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But it's well made. You can tell. That could be another thing. Like, it won't rip away. Like, some people could just rip their ears yeah. away. Yeah. It's made of that nylon. And it's in excellent condition. There's a ton of pockets. No, again, it looks brand you, new. you like that? I don't care for the material, Okay. but the bag I carry is very similar to this, but in cotton. Okay. Uh -huh. the, the one thing I got that I know will sell. I... These sell closer to the winter, but I'm still selling them. Uh, and also, I've not even plugged them in. Yeah. So hopefully we've got a little cocky at this point. Yeah, All right. Worked. Yeah. So are these two separate, or they go to the same thing? They go to the same. No, no, they're two separate. They're two separate. They have two separate plugs. They do have two separate plugs, but I'm only seeing one of this. No, two separate. There's one right there. There's one. Oh no, no, no! This is what I was looking for. Okay. Yes. So blanket controllers. Pull them off of the yucky blankets at the bins. And um, we can usually sell them for ten to fifteen dollars a piece. Those don't even have any blankets. Really? No. This is a hat similar to the type of hat that you now like at the beach. That's a uh, roll-up hat. Or something. Yeah, I've got a giant head. My head is twenty-three inches. Um, this is Athleta, so the Athleta tag looks like that Starburst. Okay. So, have you heard of Lululemon? Yes. Gap. Yep. That kind of brand is Athleta. Okay, Lululemon and Lululemon, are they similar? Lululemon. Oh, Lululemon. It's only one Lou. Yeah. Okay. Well, you look just adorable. Yeah, it's it's definitely too tight on my head. I've got too big of a head. That's but... all that brain that packed in there. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Bubble yeah. wrap from something else. I want to put everything out and then we'll put all of this back in and switch. We dump the rest of the bag. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Okay, we're going to start this portion of the bag with the one thing that I don't know how we could have possibly got where we live anywhere other than the bins. Okay. Oh, it's a seashell. It's a seashell. It's such a nice seashell. <laughs> we see a zillion seashells and we you buy do. one at the bins. This one doesn't have any cracks though. It just spoke to me. It was like, buy me. Okay. Uh, this is apparently a, a top for a fancy Mackenzie Childs. I assume this is a like a cookie jar like top. That's exactly what it is. But it's not very big for a cookie jar. Well, not the size of cookies I would like anyway. <laughs> um, so it, we only found this part of it, but Mackenzie Childs is one of my favorite brands to sell. It sells quickly. It's very desirable. Any Mackenzie Childs piece you can find for a good price should be picked up. They sell linens, they sell home goods, they sell furniture. They just have very much curated their brand very well throughout the years, and the value is there. That's all stuff for in the house, mostly. Yeah, mostly. This has a little bit of like a worn. Yeah. Somebody's going to reuse this and do something amazing. So One too many I'm cookies not... taken out of that jar. I know. Worn it off. I know. Uh, are all the yarn, is this what it is together? Yarn, sure. So somewhere, here we go. This was hand-painted sock yarn, merino superwash. 
So I'm guessing that's what this is and the rest look similar. Somebody started to make a sock. What do they mean hand painted though? I have no idea. How do you hand paint yarn? No, come on. I have no idea. I don't know. But that's what they're saying, right? That's what it says. It's out of Washington. I don't know. State of Washington. Heritage. Yes, yeah, state of Washington. Mm -hmm. Distributor of fine yarn. Okay. So this blue one yes. and this clearly matched. Yes. So you could have two socks of that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a bunch of yeah, greens. Yes, These two, two match. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're about the same. This is lovely. And then we have some spools, balls that don't match but seem very nice quality. Plus there's a good bit of them. And yes. And there are all kinds of shades of blues and greens. So if you wanted to take out this person's half sock, that's probably what that is, right? Like the top I, I would seem a little curl at this point after all the work is going on. It's so but. pretty. It's not even itchy for being wool. No, you're right. It's not. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I might lot them all together. I'll probably lot them all together. Okay, lot them all together. Uh, this is a silly thing. Oh, this is a silly thing. Yeah, I didn't know. It's a little apron, a small apron. It's like a. It's a little bag. We could put my shell inside. Okay. And then, like, I could carry it. Yes, that, that you could do those things. It looks like a flower bag, like a sack of flower bag, but it's done in a very What's small. What's a flower on the back? So. I know. Yeah. All right, so it's just a fun little thing, I guess. Yes. Okay. I found the receipt. So I can tell you we paid $48.63. The book was 39 cents. All right, well, here's a dinosaur book. <laughs> Sticker book. You know who this is going to. Yeah, Fima. No, Jason. Oh, okay. Anytime Jason comes over and he kind of, he comes over all of the time, but he comes inside and hangs out with us, he's just allowed to roam free in our house. We've kind of established that since the, the beginning. Um, today he wanted to bring a dog inside of our house, which I told him we couldn't do that. But um, I'll, I'll save this for him. But it, it looked fine. It had most of the stickers, if not all the stickers there. Doesn't that look like something you'd like? Yes. We have or had a dinosaur garden for him outside. He's seven, dinosaurs are in. And also probably what he would like, this is My a, house compass but we have multiple we have how many of them two four six. Six, six compasses they're sealed they're still i'm sure there were just like some surprise in a game or something yeah they don't look like super well made no. but at the same time they're not plastic yeah and uh north is uh is uh that way right there is it yeah so it's pointing I may have to move the compass to line up hold with on, the... I was putting north the same. Well, you don't, you don't put them... Okay, I don't want them so close to each other. Yeah, they do work. Great. <laughs> so whether they be package toppers or keep them in my um, purse for young children. Mm -hmm. For some reason, you picked up a pen? I did. It matched one of the little bags, like the, the bag. It matched a gift bag. Oh, a gift bag. Okay. All right. I found these. Yes, and we're saving these for last because, in my opinion, these are the most fun. These are poles, glass poles, like for cabin tours or whatever. And they're like a light pink. Yeah. They're very cool. Yeah. I'm sure you can... They're not completely transparent, but they're not completely opaque. They're somewhere in that, like, milky pink color. So they're like, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, but I'm not going to go the whole way with the transparent. Is that what you're saying? Is that what they're like? Yeah. Okay. So milky pink glass with a little bit of a lip, like a raised scallop. Yeah. Pretty. These yeah, could have been cool. on Amazon. These could have been true vintage. I have no idea. But there's nine. Is that what we said? There's a ton of bolts, too. Seven, eight, nine. So you could do a three by three dresser. Yes. Very cool. So we'll probably wind up selling them, but you want to keep them for a while to see if a project doesn't come up. <laughs> okay, right. right? Is that I don't care. Bad? I don't care. Where's the bag? Do you oh, have yes. We are going to clear the table. Pull some of this stuff out. This was a lot of stuff for under fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Next piece. Yeah, we don't. Goodwill had ten dollars on this. This is an eyelash yarn. Do you know why it's like eyelashes? 
I don't know, but I don't like it. You don't like it. No, it gives me, it looks weird. It's jeans by Buffalo, size medium. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say this is some kind of acrylic. It looks so itchy, but maybe it's not so itchy. It's not itchy, polyester nylon. So eyelash, um, people do know that term, so I will throw that as a keyword. It's ivory with a gold tone metallic, and then there's little sequins that catch the light. It kind of looks like somebody with a really nice sweater uh -huh. rolled around in a kennel. <laughs> a kennel? Yeah, because it's a dog hair. It's like, it just stuck <laughs> to this sweater. That's what it kind of looks It's like. better than wool, I'm going to say. Okay. Wool, some wools I can't touch. Yeah. It's better than wool. Okay. Next is, I don't really know how to pronounce this brand, but I have heard of it before. L-O-L-E. It's organic cotton. Um, I like that they are very much um, trying to be a sustainable company. Okay. And this also has a UPF built into the fabric. I don't know what, the, oh, that's a sun. Sunblock. Sunblock, yes. Or some kind, so this is a size large. Well, L-O-L-E, sounds dangerously close to LOL, which is what dad used to call Lowe's. He did. He didn't know how to pronounce or he did sometimes, know how to Sometimes pronounce. he would say Lowe's, but then yes. next time he'd say you've got to go to the Lowe's and pick up some. Yes. So it has these two types of material. This is more like that cotton, thin cotton, and then it's got that knit. Okay, two makes, front pockets. Makes it a little cooler, is that right? Yeah. Oatmeal hem. Not oatmeal hem. <laughs> oatmeal <laughs> knit. Three oatmeal is the name of the material or color. The color. The color. It's color. kind of a heathered gray oatmeal. Okay. Right. But this looked to be in perfect condition. Yes. Black jeans. Crops. I picked them up because these are JAG, J-A-G. Okay. And see how there's no waistband. It's it, yes. no uh, zipper no or zipper. closure. Mm -hmm. This this is known. This um, Let me start that over. This label is known for that. So this easy pull-on style. And no zipper, so it's a bulk and stuff. So yeah. Yes. So when you go to boutiques, even here or in Lido Key, is that the name of that circle? Armin Square. Armin Circle. Armin Circle. I believe, yes. Um, they have this brand, and okay. they're usually over $100. No. So I picked up the black ones. They're not super exciting, but... We've been there like twice. Yeah, in all of the years. <laughs> yes, I mean, we only, one of them was definitely vacation. Yeah, I don't know if we've ever bought anything there, though. Ice cream. Ice cream we bought. Mm. Not now though. J. Crew, black label, size small, brand new. Doesn't say anything. It's just a little cotton shell, and Goodwill had eight dollars on it. Now, is this uh, uh, something you, to wear over something, or is this to wear as it as it is? You could do either. Oh, okay. You could even put a long sleeve under this <laughs> and make this like a sweater vest. Yep. I would leave it as it is. It's not see through. Okay. It's a nice piece. Uh oh, saving that one for last for some reason. That might be for me. Oh, okay. Here's me thinking that was the one that was worth a gold mine. <laughs> no, it's just up to you. Just ginger, size okay. large. Just like them. They're a little. Do I help? Yeah. Um, shorts. Okay. With pockets are that go are, around both sides. Are they meant to look like their their shirts meant to look like a skirt though, right? Yeah. And did you call those something, you those skirts or something like that? A uh, skirt is a skirt with shorts underneath it. These are just true shorts. Okay. Um, but look at the pockets. So this yes. is the front, and stick your hand in this pocket. <laughs> okay. And now, leave it in there, leave it in there. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Now this is the back. Now stick your hand in that pocket. Okay. See how the pockets are right next to each other? Yes, I do. That's very rare to have that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I like them more for it. You know, that, all, that whole activity would have been way more fun if you'd had those on. <laughs> <laughs> That's we'll save this one. Okay. We are going to go with Ellie Tahari. This was hundreds of dollars. It is a size large. How much did Goodwill want for it, first of all? $10. This is a 
the material makes this expensive or something? I mean, the branding makes it expensive. Okay, so what would this retail for approximately? Maybe one fifty to two fifty. Okay, and it's just it's just a blouse. Is all it is, right? It is a blouse. Okay. It is size large. I already said that polyester. It's made like a faux suede, so feel it. Yes, that's why. I, that's it's got why. Got that I, like peach skin thing. Yeah. Going on. What? How? What is that material? Polyester. <laughs> they have so many different ways to make polyester feel, though, right? Right. I mean, they really do. And it's got the big ruffle. Which is what they did there, right? They just took polyester material and did some some, some other some machine thing to it. Yep. Okay. I found two of these, so I did pick up both. I don't think I would have picked up one. This is Gap, but it has the three dots on it. So Gap with the three dots means it's factory. So that's the lower line of Gap. You hold this one. Uh, okay. Well, why would you want the lower lines? So even the it's lower cheaper. lines, okay? But yeah. I'm, oh, okay. But normally you're excited if you find something expensive at the bins, not, not yes. the lower lines. So I found two of the same exact style. Same exact size. Even though they're lower lines, it'll still be good. Yeah, I'll lap them up. Okay. But yeah, it's what what floral print would you consider this? A chintz? I have no idea what that is. Did, did Gap call this something? Cotton. Of course, it's cotton. Spring of two thousand and nine. So these are older, but see how they have like the little ruffled bib. I do. Now, when you say "of course it's cotton," do you mean because the the feel of it, or because <laughs> it's from the Gap? Oh yeah. no, because of the field, I can feel it's yes, good. Yes, exactly. Okay. We've got some fun pieces I'm saving for the Hello, that is a fun piece. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit left. Okay, okay, this is Karen Kane. Okay. She's like a medium, higher end. Her pieces sometimes command a little bit more. This is a very see-through mesh netting. Feel that. Yes. Uh, do, you, is, do you suppose that's her real name? Karen King? I would I mean, think so. Well, it's, it's pretty convenient. They're both the KK with, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Black and white animal print, um, three-quarter sleeve. You would wear this probably over like a black tank top. Okay, sure. Next is something I might keep. Okay. Can you see me in it? Yes, absolutely. It is Faded Glory Must Have Tank. Uh, yeah. Size medium. So it's just Walmart, but it has anchors and it's navy blue and I liked it. Okay. We're almost done. You're doing well, a great job. No, it's fine. This is Marisa's. Okay. Size three. So this is a plus size. Their sizing is a little wonky too. Button down. What would you call that? Red and blue, you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Two chest pockets. Sleeveless. No. Oh, it is sleeve. What kind of, oh, holy cow. Here, this is like a dress shirt, you. a sleeveless dress shirt. It is a sleeveless dress shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna do this? We're gonna do it. Okay. Model it for us. Okay. Let me do it. It'll work, it'll work. Beautiful. <laughs> you know I'd never wear that that tight. I know, but it fits. Okay. Okay, now you can take it off. I'll see you've lipstick on the back of your neck. <laughs> well, I, that has I to be yours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically it doesn't have to be. But <laughs> <laughs> Rayon cotton. It does have a little bit of brushed feeling to it. But, uh, yeah, you could put on a little shrug over this, or you could just wear this as is. Okay, we're getting down to the fun pieces. This is not a fun piece. We'll get this out of the way. Well, it's not, it's, it is a fun piece. It's sparkly. It's very sparkly, and the color, I don't know what to call this. I'm calling that gray. It is, but it's got like a bluish, purplish yeah, to it, Yes, so it has think? a little bit of lavender-ish to it. Yeah, or lilac or something. This is White House Black Market Cotton Poly. Does it say when it's made? I don't think they say. Um, what size is it? That is a good question. We don't know what size it is either. I'll measure it. I'm going to say it is probably a medium. Okay. It's like an ice blue color, but I liked the keyhole back. Just an easy pull-on piece. Very wintry. We've 
I'm giving people very little idea what color that is, by the way. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> color is winter. We'll have this one next. Okay. This is a vintage Columbia. It's just a, it's, oh no, it's not a bit. It's fleece. Yes. With a metal zipper. And this is what, like 90s? I think so. These are popular now. The Patagonia, if this was Patagonia, it would go for higher. But these kind of like weird prints, mm -hmm. nature prints, do pretty well. And you know, this kind of stuff always looks to me, this material, I've had this, it always looks like it's a little dirty. Yes, it does. Right? Yep. I hate that. I'm sure they meant it to start that way. <laughs> okay. So you didn't have to break it in. It's like pre-broken okay. in. Okay. What size is this? Columbia size, medium. No idea if it's men's or women's. Okay, yeah, well, that could be either one, I'd say. Okay, we'll go with this one, and then we'll save my piece for last. That's a great color. <laughs> it's vintage. I can't believe nobody bought this. Um, there is a term with this, and they go for hundreds of dollars. When you said there was a term there, you mean like a something you say? Is that what you mean? Yes, it's like a kawaii. Or, oh, okay. Um, how am I going to find that? Vintage, pink, cats. It's cats? Sweatshirt, no. I'm just looking for, oh, those, yeah, those for the bears. term. K-E-I or K-A-W-A-I-I. Kawaii, I think it is. That's not the Kawaii, only with a K. Okay. Yeah. So this this might do really well. I'll put it up for auction. It's in really good shape. It's got that true puffy paint. Right now you said that that will do well. I think so. Oh, so it'd be fair to ask what well would uh, constitute I, you? I wouldn't be shocked if it went for more than $100. Really? Yeah. Okay. That, that There's is... definitely... The, I'm still looking up on my phone. Sorry about that. That's a, that's okay, but that that is a, quite a difference from where you normally venture. When I say, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I expected you to come back with like, oh, this might go for like forty dollars. It might. But I'm saying you, the possibility exists. Yes, here. This okay. is what I was looking for. It okay. is K A W A I I. Yes. See that kind of like pastel thing it's got going. Yep. Um, there's another one. So So this is late eighties, early nineties. Yeah, I would think so. Also it says PS I love you. Nice. On the label. Well that's a nice message to send out. I know. <laughs> so loved it. Yes, that's very cool. Couldn't believe nobody else picked it up. So cute. Yeah. And then this might be mine. It's a dress. It's a tank top. Huh. In bellish, which I've never heard of, size small, but it's an oversized. It is um, a mm. lagging look. So see how it's got this, it's got the raw hem, it's cut like in a weird... Yes, I see all of those things. I love that. I love that so much. And it's got this weird wiggly line embroidered on it. Mm -hmm. I'm Material. guessing it's cotton. I would say so. Right? Yes. Uh, made in India cotton. It is full cotton. So I will try this on. Uh, I try not to keep a lot, but this is truly something I would just wear over and over. I could see this in my wardrobe for a while. Okay. And I think that was everything at the bins. I think so. Okay. So the morning before we went to the bins, I was up and I felt good and I wanted to go get you more ice cream at Publix. And I went to our local Goodwill, which is not the bins. So at the bins, we spent forty-four twenty-six, and at the regular Goodwill, you'll see what we spent for. I spent for forty-eight. So the difference is going to be about four dollars. So for four dollars more, this is everything I got. Okay. First is Ellie Tahari. Well, the one thing I will say though. In your defense, the items that you got, even though they cost that, you're very picky about being at that Goodwill, as yeah. opposed to the bins were just like, oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, because they have items easily $60, $70 right, at that right. Goodwill. So, yes. 
So they missed this one as being a good brand. It's Ellie Tahari. I've sold this exact jacket, I think in purple and gray, for $50 to $60 before. Cool. So it's really well made. It is you very see? nice. Yes, I feel it. Looks, detail to yes, it. absolutely. Yeah, Ellie Tahari does pretty well, and they wanted $6 for this. Okay. We have another Ellie Tahari. I picked this one up. It's not as detailed. Were they close to each other? They were. Okay. But the same person can have worn it, I don't think. This oh. one's a size 14, so it's a bigger size for Ellie Tahari, and this one is also $6. Maybe it's from a rich family. Yeah, true. This <laughs> one's so solid black shoulder pads. Um, see, even like there's little stitches oh, yes. around the pocket. Yes. It looks like a tuxedo almost. It does. It's really well made. We have another jacket. This one is Lafayette, Lafayette 148, which is always a couple hundred dollars, size six. So it's more wintry. Now the Lafayette 148 is always the name, like the 148 doesn't ever change. No, correct. Right. I wonder if that's where the street is that um, they started out on or something. Perhaps. It's a purple, I'd call that a boucle tweed. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, with I'm a sure, ruffled front. I'm sure I've heard boucle before, but. It's just the, the wovenness of it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I might get $30, $40 for it. So you don't necessarily get boucou for the boucle. Ah, oh, very funny, no. <laughs> Next is I have been needing a pair of swim bottoms. I found a few swim tops years ago. They've taken me through all of the years of Florida and my swim bottoms last year, just completely the elastic stretched. So I've been looking for swim bottoms. These were $2.49. They're too big on me, but they're not so big they're gonna fall down. So I might just wear them to the pool rather than like in the beach. Well, also, did, did you explain why you want these types of... I think everybody knows I have a lot of nerve issues, which are acting really mm -hmm. nicely to me right now, but I have a lot of nerves right where my um, pelvis cuts, like right here and right where a swimsuit bottom digs in and underwear. Um, so any kind of elastic just is terrible in that area. So I did find some no roll, no elastic, but not enough and I had the the tops so I got a really big size I I think they'll be wearable if I just hang out in the pool that's the plan sounds good where am I going next I think this next they had this for $3.99 it is do you know what Moby is have you seen mothers carrying their children with oh like yes a scarf wrapped around yes, them this is, uh, the fabric is Princess Petunia. What is this fabric? You want to take a guess? <laughs> it's brand new. Okay, I mean, it's some sort of cotton, it feels like to me, some sort of cotton. But there is. It's, it has a flannel-ish feel. Yeah, it, we're looking for a label here. Okay, well, I don't invest again. <laughs> did you find one? No, I did not. Okay, well, we're going to have to find one. So you okay. look on the front. Okay. I'll look on the back. All right. Okay, here you go. Here's the label. You found it? There we go. Petunia Pickle Bottom. <laughs> that wasn't even close. For Moby. So they went to $3.99. I might be able to sell this for $30. It's brand new. It doesn't say what it's made out of, though. No, it's probably just a soft cotton. You're probably right about okay. that. So it, it's made to be specifically wrapped around a child. Oh, it's made specifically for that. Yep. Okay. This was from the bins and it fell out. We never showed it. So this is White House Black Market, brand new with tags, retailed for $78. Polter top, size large. So this is a fancy place too? This... White House Black Market, it's a mall brand. An expensive mall brand. That's pretty pricey for a top, right? Seventy some dollars? It is, but that's kind of what mall brand tops Okay. Are usually like forty to seventy dollars. So. All right. Um, next, I got some shampoo and conditioner for ninety nine cents. These are normally thirty dollars. Um, this brand C I E L is sold at boutiques, and I figured I would just pick them up and see how they do with my hair. Okay. Good. Yeah. And I use them in the shower 
Apparently you can use those sparingly because they're not very much of it. Really? Well. I don't know. I'm going to get like five shampoos out of this. That's I'm what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I know you use a lot in your hair. Yeah. I do. I've got okay. thick hair. Next is, I have bought this for your Aunt Lucille, who is 90. Like 94 Four? or something. Um, she loves this brand. It did expire a little bit ago. That's okay. Bear can't be playing with things. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, it did expire, but I'll use it. This was $6.99. But this cream is very pricey. It's by the brand First Aid Beauty. It really works for eczema. It works for a whole bunch of stuff. It's really good stuff. I would not, normally not buy it. I'm gonna guess this is like fifty dollars, but six ninety nine, pretty. Want to hold up this guy? Yes. He is not nearly as cool of a color as the shirt was, the pink shirt. Mm -hmm. But obviously, a little flamingo that we can. One could hang from a, whatever they want to hang him from. Yes. So again, for um, boxes that I put together, mm -hmm. I thought this might be around Christmas. I might include him in one of the boxes. I think that's a great idea. And then the last non-clothing item are coasters, and they wanted 99 cents, and they're plain coasters. And what I really liked about these is somebody took nine and made doodles on them and put them up on the wall or put them up on a post board or like a bulletin board type of thing. You could get make like little art prints on these. Couldn't you see that? No. I, I mean, I'm, you know, my brain doesn't work like I can't envision yeah. what we're talking about. So I'm like sure one you just doodled with watercolors and made circles and then turned them into something. I don't know, but they were. It seemed like they were all in there, and even for cheap paper, I thought these were really cool. You know, my mad Easter egg skills. So <laughs> I mean, nice. this, right? So I can't really. I have already washed and worn this around the house. It is Ann Taylor Loft Beach size medium it is a maxi cover-up dress for the beach okay i have one dress for the beach right now and right. it's got major holes in the back it must have got caught on our washing machine but this is like you know just like a strolling down the beach and <laughs> sure well i, I don't just... actually stroll down the beach because walking is always <laughs> an issue but when you say you weren't around us did you i don't remember seeing you in that you were out last night oh okay so did you have a company that you... No, uh, no, I just wanted to see what it, <laughs> if it worked for me. This is the last thing for that $48. It is, let's see if I can find it. Nakari. H-A-R-A-R-I, size 10. So these sell for sometimes hundreds of dollars. Really? I couldn't imagine getting hundreds of dollars but these are beautiful pieces of art almost. Um, if you just even look at the vent, how that's piped, like it's a rolled feel that. It looks like something you hang over a, a piece of furniture. <laughs> I can see that. Um, but they retail for hundreds of dollars and I'm probably gonna put this one at, I paid $4.99. I don't know, $49.99, maybe a little bit higher if I research it. It's like for your Thanksgiving table. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. So that was everything we got yesterday? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Yeah, so that was very fun for us to do. Mm -hmm. We have some P.O. boxes to unlock. Oh, okay, good. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay, let me, let me take some of this stuff off so it's not in the background. What do you want me to do? So we have been collecting some mail from our P.O. box. Bear now plays really close to it every Tuesday night, which is a highlight of his week. <laughs> yes. So uh, let's open some P.O. box now, because a few people have been waiting. I think this one first. This is by Tanani. Tan Tanani. Mm -hmm. Or could it be Tony? T A H. That first one. Oh, it could be. You'll have to let us know how you pronounce your name. Oh, it's, it's so funny. pretty. Cranberry ribbon is. To Melissa, read on camera if you're feeling up to it. I'm feeling up to it. <laughs> Looks sparkly. Very sparkly. sparkly. Thank you. Oh. Whoa. I hope you can read my handwriting. No, it's beautiful. It's the best handwriting ever. Yeah. 
I have watched your videos for a long time now, but just recently subscribed to the channel. I don't know what it took me, why it took me so long because you are amazing. I don't sell on eBay, but I do sell on Posh. My closet name is Love at Second Sight. Good name, and I'll leave it below. Yes. Love at Second Sight. Love that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I will stop being so scary and jump on the eBay train. LOL. Anyways. I thought I would send you some goodies. You can keep them or use them as package toppers. I hope these goodies bring a smile to your face. I am a nursing student selling clothes. Thank you so much for all you do. We, have nursing we have had so many nurses over the years and the work and dedication you put into your job and learning about how to do that job. Yes, well, amazing. Yeah. Um, selling clothes online to make some extra money to pay for school. I love your videos and my heart and prayers go out for you that each day is a little less painful and your day is full of joy. You are enough. Hmm. Your old new bloomy. And I believe it's Tahani. Tahani. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Oh, she even included one of her stickers. Yes. So professional. Yes. You've got good tissue paper. <laughs> Pass the Melissa Rose tissue paper test. It's like satin. Yes, it is. Eat that card. Don't, don't put that card anywhere. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Are these poly nailers? <sighs> Look how cool these are. Those are cool. I've been using my same poly nailers for, I don't know, just like for 20 years or something. So anytime I see new ones, these are really pretty. Yes, they are. I have to really up my poly nailer game. <laughs> Okay, and that was a thing. Oh, it's totally a thing. We all know it's a thing. Oh, look how gorgeous those are. Yes. Some cards. Oh, some stickers. Like some rainbow heart stickers. Very nice. Thank you. And sparkly. Very sparkly. Everything's going to catch the light. We have some ribbon, pinks, and like that cranberry color. Washi. Dream big. You can do it. Right on and a window pane. You know me well. Oh, and like little encouragement cards. I've seen these, I've thought about buying them, but they're kind of pricey. This one says- They're very heavy like cards, right? Yeah. yeah. Hello. They're just like package topper cards, thanks. Uh, but you can't oh, write them because they're blank in the back. There's little envelopes. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's the cutest thing. Mm -hmm. I love it. You I should be able to buy those at Hallmark. Really? Those little cards with little envelopes like that. Yeah. Put all that back in there so we don't lose any. Okay. And then. Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> Okay, so this is facial cleanser. I'll okay. go through them quickly. Clay mask, my mom is coming, what is today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in three days. So she might get to experience some of this too. Like maybe I'll save her a mask or two. Um, mint and green tea herbal cleanser, moisturizer, shampoo, conditioner. Oh, I've heard of this brand, Skin, S-K-Y-N. These are firming eye gels. Frank Body, I've heard of this too. Good stuff. Hey babe, this is a coffee scrub. Don't drink it. Rub it on your bod. Hi. Well, that sounds like he's being pretty frank with your body. Ah, <laughs> Frank. Soothing gels, masks. 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 Oh, this is a nice one too. Cream. Eye depuffing. Caviar essence and coffee scrub. Thank you so much. Very cool. There's a lot of stuff there. A lot of fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you won't see me for the rest of the night. I just cover my whole body with masks. Thank you so much. How are we saying this name? I believe Dahani. Thank you so much, Dahani. I just want to keep everything together until sure. I send a thank you card. Absolutely. That's a great idea. You can send a thank you card provided. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay, this one I 
open since I thought it was going to be a return, and it wasn't. It's, it's also a fun thing. You, you thought it was going to be a return? You... Somebody was supposed to be returning something on eBay. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, so I thought maybe it was this, but it's not. It's okay. a whole bunch of cards. I include cards, you know I include cards so often in packages, and I never write on them. Oh my goodness, look how cute that one is. Yeah. And so the people can can use the cards. Stickers. Oh, that's that's a very good idea. I like that. Right? Rather than be like, thanks so, so much. So do you, what do you do then? You don't you put a note in it or just, no. you just the, the my business card. I put this and I usually put it face down so it creates that nice blank and then my business card right. Oh, okay, that's very good. I like it. Look how fun this one is. Ten <laughs> cards. <laughs> Oh, you did it again? Yeah. Bear's been keeping track of that weird, like, his lungs stopped thing. A little, a little, and, you know, and I just did one there, and that's what made me chuckle. Was that the first of the day? Oh, no, that's like up to four now or something like that. <laughs> Look how pretty these are. What are, what are the, I mean, Stickers. No, no, I mean, what are, are there hearts. two hearts? hearts. You wouldn't if you were in person you wouldn't be like oh by the way i do this i do this yeah you know, if you, you met me the first time i yeah. probably wouldn't be like i like cherries and aqua and right. this and that. that's what but, i'm saying so yeah. you would just be you know cordial to me when you start meeting people but online they can learn all about you i know thank you so much sharon yeah. this is from bailey's bargains i think i've gotten something from her that's the name of her business yes Packaged. Yes. Another person with really nice writing. I know. <laughs> Melissa, I oh, look, even the aqua card. <laughs> I know how much you love your ribbon. So true. I had a new ribbon day the other day and I was pretty excited. I always find it up here at yard sales. <sighs> love. Yes. Love the videos that you and Bear have been putting out. Thanks for the great info, Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. I think Kathleen is on Patreon, which is really oh, nice. Oh, she's of on one of our yeah. people. That's so nice. Look at that little, like this little bag. So cute. Yeah, what, what is Oh my goodness, so much ribbon. Oh, this for ribbon. It's ribbon in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Oh, holy cow. I know. Oh, pastels, beautiful. Look at that color yeah, palette. Like pink, blues, or pink. Oh, there's like ribbon in ribbon. This will be fun around the holidays. I don't have too much like green, red ribbon. Some of that's even vintage you sell. Like look at this, look at this, this tag totally here. It totally is. Look at that one. There's another one, yes. Curling time. Yeah. Pink. The pink's gonna match some of the new um, tissue papers really well. Pink polka dot. This one has like a teal stripe. Red. Like a really thick black made in France. Green. Okay. Like goldenrod. There's another one of those vintage ones. Yes. And oh, so cute. Red hearts. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much, Kathleen. Yes, very fun. All of this stuff just makes me so excited to keep wrapping gifts. Like, I just keep going to wrap. Like, I could just do that tonight. Organize my ribbon drawer, just wrap gifts and be happy. There's more. I don't know how she put that all in. I don't know either. We're going to leave it like that. That's right. Thank you all so much. And if you've sent something recently, Bear forgot to go to the, the P.O. box. I'm blaming it on him. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's absolutely true. I should. I was so jacked about singing last night that I forgot I should go to the P.O. We box. went Monday, I think, after the beach. We've been yeah, trying to get to the beach once a week. We skipped a week. I had, we both had sinus infections, and then I had the ear infection thing. Um, but my voice is doing really well. We're, do, we're both doing really well. Yes. So hopefully more beach time to come. Well, certainly, we'll, I'm sure we'll uh, get some in when your mom is here. Yeah, she'll be here for two weeks. She's really looking forward One to it. One of the it. things she likes She to works do. hard. Oh, my goodness, she works hard, yes. Yeah. Lots of hours, and yes. Yep. Okay, have one thing to tell us. One thing? One thing. What can this I... video is long enough, so tell us one thing. Oh, man. Can you give me a, an idea? Of... Yeah, you can tell that story. Or would it be better if we do the, uh, the airplane story? Okay. okay, so one thing to tell you. One thing I have to bring up my friends down at the Cortez Clam once again, and I've told you before that the guy that runs the thing is BC. He's a guitar player, and he was formerly employed by Ray Charles. Just freaks me out every time I think about that. I stand right <laughs> next to him and play. Uh, so it's really cool. But I said to him this week, I just went up to him in one of the breaks, and I said, BC, tell me a Ray story. <laughs> I said, I know you have some Ray stories. So I've heard him tell different stories. So one of the stories he told was, okay, they're on tour, so they're flying. He's in, Ray's playing with them. And <laughs> Ray, this, Ray says, and BC always kind of imit imitates Ray. So Ray's speaking voice was high. So And so B Ray Trail says, I want to fly my plane. <laughs> and he said, what? He said, yeah, I'm going to fly my plane. I, it's my plane. I want to fly my plane. So I <laughs> said, so BC says he's sitting there and he says, I'm sitting right by the pilot's door. So sure enough, Rick Charles walks past, goes up in the cockpit and the co-pilot gets out of the seat and Ray sits down, you know? So they're, they're flying after a while the pilot and shot a few things off and he says, there you go, it's, you know, it's your control now. And so they dove, he like pushed it forward in his brain. And BC said it was the scariest time, four minutes of his life. He goes, it was only like three or four minutes. He goes, it was the scariest three or four minutes of my life. He said he went down and go back. And you know, and then and finally that was it. He said, okay, I fly my plane. I want to fly my plane. And so he <laughs> come back and sit down again, you know. So, awesome. Yes, that's a great story. Does story. everybody know Ray Charles was blind? I, th I mean, anybody that knows this anything at all about yeah. music, even, you know, because Ray Charles, even until the day he died, he spanned a lot of genres a lot of newer artists even worked with him they wanted to do duets and stuff with him so yeah i mean he wasn't blind from birth he was as a child he got some uh, i think some sort of disease or something that took, okay. his, took his sight okay so. i didn't know that mm -hmm. good story good one story thanks <laughs> we're going to say good night what else are we going to do tonight uh well we have the to flamingos to put come. all this stuff away and yeah and maybe what's something on tv while you rub my head i love that me too. We we lay down. <laughs> you lay down. I yeah. sit up and yes. we rub his head into some of that. Yes. That's how we'll end our night. It's like my favorite activity. Always, it's been my favorite activity. <laughs> seriously, seriously. We go on vacation. It was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, yeah, can I just lay down and rub my head? And after a vacation, we went on a lot of vacations. Yeah. We were really blessed to travel when I had better health. I know it doesn't come off as my health being bad, and I'm really glad because I'm doing pretty well. Yes. But. Yeah, I, I take a long time to recover at this point. Yes, well, I shared with somebody today that was so nice about people, you know, get to know us and they don't understand that the girl that they see here is not the girl that's, you see her okay. at her absolute best. Yeah, I take it. You know, so if anybody says, oh, you know, when I go for a meal or hang out or anything, like that's just something she, she absolutely can't do. Even with her mom coming down. I could, down, it would really well, push it, it, my it just, body. It's just not worth yeah. the cost. The physical cost and the mental cost to both of us. Probably my mental anguish worse than anything her. 
uh, certainly not physically, but mentally, it just kills me to see her hurting. So any kind of thing like that, like even if you see her out, she's like, oh, you know, but that's, you know, full of pain meds before, full of pain meds after and everything. So, but it's so sweet. I mean, it's so it's so humbling that people even want to have anything to do with our lives, yeah. actually. So, but, so but you know, they, they just need to understand that they're seeing you at your best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I was going to say is anytime we get back from a vacation or a holiday, I'd always be like, what was your favorite part? Rubbing your head. <laughs> that was your favorite part. We could be in Ireland. We could be in the Caribbean. We could be hiking mountains in Arizona. That's true. His favorite part was rubbing his head. Well, that means I'm like a cheap date now. <laughs> because not only can't you travel anymore, and, yeah. and, and, you know, so I'm a cheap date. Like, yeah. well, what's, what's this guy will be happy? And when we say things like, we don't go out to eat. Yeah. We don't go out to eat. I mean, unless you My call... mom asked me that the other day. Yeah. Like, are we going out to eat for yeah. our anniversary? Yes. The answer is no. We don't go out to eat. Unless you call unless you call going through the drive through McDonald's yes. on the way back from the bins going yes. out to eat. Seriously, I got yes. chicken nuggets. So, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's totally yeah. worth it. And because of my, uh, you know, I like to call it, personally, I like to call it my frugalness. And some <laughs> people might call it cheap even, but I'm always like, you know, well, they're not that far away from home, so why would we even go through a drive-thru and just eat when we get home? But, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's always not the fun thing to do. I understand that, so we go through the drive-thru. That's my fun thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Bloomies on three. Okay. One, two, three. Bloomies! Bloomies. We hope, hope your, your day, day is, is blooming, blooming with, joy. with joy. Bye. Bye. We, we, our tempo I almost was off forgot now. it. it oh, you almost it, forgot I it. Hope it was. Yeah, it was fun. I don't know why I was thinking fun that. Was I'm blooming with joy. I hope your fun. <laughs> we hope your day is blooming with joy.